In this video, we're going to discuss the concept of sunk costs. So a sunk cost is two things. It's a cost that, number one, has already been incurred. It's already incurred, and that means you've already invested the money, you already spent the money, it's, it's gone, uh, so you've incurred it, and it can't be changed going forward. So really, you've, you've invested the money, you can't go back, there's nothing that can be done. So, for these two reasons, which we're about to see in a, in a moment, a sunk cost is irrelevant to decision making. Right? Irrelevant to decisions. Why? Well, it, the money's gone. The money's been spent. It's already incurred, and we can't change it. We can't do anything about it. So it shouldn't be affecting our future decisions. Now, l let me just yeah, walk you through an example, and, and you'll see... Uh, in a moment why this is the case. So let's say an example is you pay $10 for a movie ticket. And maybe let's say that the movie that you wanted to see was, was sold out, so you pay $10 for some other movie uh, that you really don't want to see as much. And then you show up at the movie theater and somebody offers you a free ticket to a movie that you th you 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 really want to see you would prefer to see this movie that you've got the free ticket for right now if you start thinking hey wait a minute i've got this 10 i've already paid 10 dollars for this other movie i should probably see that well actually research has shown that a lot of people will actually go and see the movie that they've already paid money for even though they think that they would like it less than the one they're being offered a free ticket for. And that's because even though it's a sunk cost in that it's already been incurred, we've already paid the 10 bucks, it's lost, we can't change that, people allow this to affect their decision making. Right? They have kind of this idea of, well, I don't want to be losing money, I don't want to have wasted $10 for nothing. So even though they've got these two options, and they know that they would like uh, option number one, or excuse me, option number two, better than option number one, they will sometimes still choose number one because they're kind of letting this sunk cost, this cost that should be irrelevant, affect their decision making. Now you might say, okay, well this is just you know going to the movies, how is this important to, to the business world or to real life? Well sometimes what you'll have happen is, uh, let's say there's a firm that's invested a hundred million dollars in a project and it's got this ongoing project and it looks like this project is just not going to be a success. There's, there's problems. It's just been a nightmare from the beginning. And they should just pull the plug, right? But they're reluctant to pull the plug sometimes because they say, well, hey, we've already invested $100 million in this. We should keep pushing forward. Now, okay, so obviously you don't want to just invest $100 million in something and have one problem come up and you say, okay, let's forget about the money. But if you come to believe that, okay, this is not going to be successful, or there's a very good likelihood it's not going to be successful, and actually this, we should deploy our future money elsewhere, but you continue along with this other project because you say, well, look, we've already invested the $100 million, then what you're doing is you're allowing a sunk cost to affect your decision making. And you shouldn't, what happened here, this $100 million, that's gone. All you care about is the future, right? How do we affect the firm positively going forward from here? And because this is sunk, right, we're not getting that money back. It's gone. And whether we continue to throw money into this project isn't going to change the fact, right? So we have to say, okay, from this point going forward into the future, what's the best decision? In doing so, we have to ignore sunk costs that are irrelevant and we shouldn't allow them to affect our decision-making going forward.